Hello everyone, welcome back to Retro Redux. And also welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. I've leveled a little bit, a little bit of a grinding. Again, I have level 9 everything, and I feel that that's uh, it's pretty alright. Pretty alright, I think. So, let's get going into the next route a little bit deeper. Okay, so last time we left off at Route 2. We did. No, we didn't do much in the game, we just basically just got to. Well, we got to Route 2, caught two Pokemon, and that's about it. And this time. We are going to go through the Viridian Forest. Now there are a multitude of Pokemon that I can catch here. Uh, one very good one and two <sighs> Pokemon. Let's hope for the good one. This is a very small chance that I find him. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to find him. Caterpie! Well, Caterpie you're not that bad, so I guess I can try and catch you. Hopefully I don't kill you. Mm oh! Oh, mm, life is good. Life is so fair sometimes. But sometimes I mean almost never. Let's throw a Pokeball at that bitch. Christ, that was way too close for comfort. So Caterpie is kind of like uh, the like other counterpart of Weedle. They both evolve into different Pokemon though. Its short feet are tipped with suction pods that enable it to tirelessly climb slopes and walls. Well, that's good. Give a nickname to the Capture Caterpie? Yes. In a world. Let's go, um... Let's do something with the S. And then an E. And then a U. And then a V. And then an O. And then an L. And then a, a T. Suvolt! Why not? Suvolt. Welcome to the team, Suvolt! I hope you won't die. I, mean, I would like to keep all of my Pokemon. Alright, that I think that's a trainer. Nope, I was throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon and I ran out. That's why you can never have too many Pokeballs. I agree. And I found a potion. There is random Pokeballs around the place that you can uh, find items in or whatever. And there's Weedle! A level 4 Weedle. Would have been great if I would have caught a level 4 Caterpie. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. Why, how, how could you even think that I was gonna do that? Not the smartest people around here. Alright. So that's String Shot. Uh, so String Shot doesn't really do much. Yeah, this is Weedle. I don't particularly like Weedle. Neither do I like the Pokemon it evolves into. It evolves into uh, Beedrill. Which, uh, it's, it's an alright Pokemon for early game, but later on in the game it becomes so shit. He really doesn't. Be, he really isn't that good to keep. Neither is Caterpie though, because Caterpie t changes into a uh, butterfly. Butterfly is not that great of a Pokemon either. All right, so our first trainer battle. Hey, you have Pokemon, come on, let's battle him. Sure. So this is a Bug Trainer, the shittiest one. Bug Trainer Rick, would you like to battle? Let's go, uh, Bug Catcher, uh, Weedle. I'm guessing his other Pokemon is gonna be Ch Ch Oh, that's a level six Weedle. I didn't, wasn't expecting that. All right, let's send in Belkenti. As we all know, he has Gust, and flying attacks are strong against. I think this one's Bug. Yeah, they're strong against Bug. Flying attacks are strong against Bug and Grass. And fighting, fighting we haven't found yet, but I will find fighting. We'll find fighting soon enough. Suvolt grew to level four. Um, Caterpie and Weedle both level up very quickly. I mean, and they also evolve very rapidly. So don't be surprised if I all of a sudden already have a sec already have a stage two Pokemon in my team in just a little bit. Like I believe that Caterpie should already be its next stage. Speaking of leveling up, um, Bulbasaur levels up fairly fast, fairly quickly. Uh, Pidgey levels up really quickly. And Vatata is like, I don't know, he takes like double the time that it takes to level up Pidgey or Bulbasaur. It's kind of ridiculous. And he also takes quite a while to evolve as well. 
Uh, I'm just trying to be a little bit informative here. Uh, the same goes for trainer battles as goes with random battles. If the trainer battle is just an ordinary trainer battle and nothing special happens, I'm not gonna show it. Unless he has a new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet, or something different happens. That's pretty cool, you know. Uh, it's another trainer. Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer! But, but you're a Pokemon trainer. That makes no sense. Oh no, why? Why did you poison me? Great. Now I'm poisoned. What poison is gonna do, it's gonna keep doing damage to me. Isn't that just freaking dandy? Every turn is another three points of damage to me. And now I have to get back. Okay, well, at least he went to level five. Does he have another Pokemon? Yes, he does. Oh well. Kakuna! Okay, well, this is a new Pokemon. Kakuna. As you can see, uh, that Weedle did quite a little bit of damage, but I was used mo mostly because that thing was fucking level 7. Kakuna is the evolution of Weedle. And Weedle is still a shit Pokemon, but Kakuna is a little bit better. But I believe that uh, he caught this Kakuna while it was a Kakuna. If you catch Kakuna or the evolution of Caterpie while they're in that form in the wild, the only move that they will know is uh, Harden, and all that does is raise your defense. As you can see, he's constantly using Harden. I could actually kill him with only Caterpie, but that would take way too much. And if he does no tackle, I would be, well, risking the life of a Pokemon, and I would rather not do that. The annoying part about Kakuna and the evolution of Caterpie knowing Harden and only using that is that they're gonna keep raising their defense and it's only going to slow you down more and more in your battle and it's just no fun. No fun for anyone. It really isn't. But hey, Suvolt grew to level 6. So that's good. And now he's defeated and I believe that my Caterpie is going to evolve. Nope, I was wrong. Now the problem is, yeah, uh, my screen is going very weirdly as you can see, that is because my Pidgey is poisoned and every time you see my screen going weird like that, it means he's taken another point of damage as you can see right there. I do not have any potions, at least I don't think I do, and if I do, I thank the gods, I do. Alright, I'm gonna give it to Pidgey. Because I'm not sure if that's already implemented in this game, that uh, I know that in later Pokemon games, if your Pokemon is poison, and he just keeps on losing health points, if he loses points, he, uh, he cannot die from the poison, he can only go to uh, uh, 1 HP from the poison, but I'm not sure if that was already inside of this game, so I'd rather not risk it, and just go to the Pokemon Center. I'm gonna look it up, don't worry, but... So that I don't have to do this again in future episodes, but that's basically what Poison does. It's a very annoying status effect, and with the luck that you will have in Pokemon games, it's going to happen quite a lot to you, probably. Alright, I'll see you guys back in the Viridian Forest. Actually, now that I think about it, uh, I might want to buy some stuff over here. Some more Pokeballs would be pretty good. About three of them would probably do it. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna, definitely gonna buy five potions or so. Yeah, that sounds good. And five antidotes. One for each Pokemon and then one extra. Alright, that should be it. Now I will see you guys back in Viridian Pokeball. Marcus found one antidote. Oh, really? Re really? <sighs> Alright. Would have been good to know that beforehand. I could have avoided that whole trip, but then again, I wouldn't have all the items that I have now. Oh, I might be little, but I won't like it. With your, I won't like it if you go easy on me. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Maybe I'll have something uh, interesting. I you might be noticing that I'm using Pidgey for pretty much everything inside of this Radiant Forest. That's because the the first gym inside of this game is uh, not really that great for. A Pidgey. You will see why, and I'll explain why if you've never played a Pokemon game. I mean, it would be weird if you're watching a Nuzlocke of a Pokemon game and you've never played it or seen anything of it or don't know anything of it, but hey. Just trying to reach to everyone, you know. And I'll see you guys when this battle is done, because it's just another stupid Caterpie. And that was another Caterpie dead. 
Alright. Oh, boo, nothing went right. Yay, polka dollars, polka dollars are also always great to get. Let's see what level is my Caterpie right now. Also, if you look at your Pokemon, do uh, with the summary, you can see it's nature. Nature means something. I'm not sure what the nature just mean. You can also look at his moves and how much more experience it needs. Uh, this one needs 22 more experience to go to the next level. You can see it's stats too, with attack and defense and everything. As you can see right now, uh, my Pidgey, Bulbasaur and Rattata are all the same in attack, but my Bulbasaur farly outweighs them in special attack. Sadly though, all of my attacks for Bulbasaur right now are not special attacks, they're normal attacks. I don't know how special attacks and normal attacks work in this game. I know that right now it works that uh, physical attacks are normal attacks and ethereal attacks or ranged attacks are special attacks. I believe that's how it works. Did you know that Pokemon evolve? Yes, I have explained it multiple times. And you will probably have both the evolutions. Oh, he has a Metapod. So this is the evolution of Caterpie, a pretty good Pokemon. It evolves into my favorite of the two, which is Butterfly, as I said before. And Butterfly is fairly alright, and Metapod is also fairly alright. This one is probably only going to no harden, yep. Just as I thought. Well, that just means it's another gust fest for me the whole time. Probably only gonna take two, yeah, only gonna take two attacks. It is hard and it's not gonna stretch out the battle for that long to be honest. It would have been too uh it would have been two gusts either way, so honestly it doesn't really matter that much. Alright, now that that one is dead. Oh hey, my Caterpie is level 7, which I think that means that he's gonna evolve now. And Caterpie, we're back to here. Well, see you guys in a bit. And that's the last of his Pokemon. There we go. Hey, I think my Peach is gonna level up again. Yep, there it went. Awesome, level 11 Pidgey. Pretty good. And Buckcatcher Charlie is down. 48 Pokedol, 84 Pokedolls. Hey, Suvold is evolving. Awesome. And this is the evolution scene. I like the evolution scene in all Pokemon games. This one is one of my favorites, so. I like the trippy background. Kinda reminds me of Earthbound, to be honest. Earthbound might be another game that I might play later on in my life. Congratulations, your Suvold evolved into Metapod. Suvold learned Harden. Uh, at least I have an attack to do now with that Harden. As you can see, right there is the exit. But we will need to go through quite a bit more. As you can see, over there we have another trainer to go through, so... Yeah. Oh, a wild Metapod. That's alright. Let's kill it with my Metapod. Oh, that took ages. That took like literally almost a minute. That was insane. I mean, it gives you a good amount of points. And hey, Pokeball experience point. I think the longer a battle takes, the, lo the more experience points you get. I think that's how Pokemon works. At least that's how I think. That's just what I've noticed in, this, in these Pokemon games anyway. Let's see, how much more experience does my Metapod need? About, oh, three more. Well, he's gonna level up real soon then. Suvold can actually hold himself up now. That's great. That's great. I think his uh, defense actually went greatly up once he turned into a Metapod. I'm not too sure about that. Let's see. Yeah, his defense is like the best now. Oh, never mind. Pidgey just outranks him. Then again, Pidgey is like three levels higher than him, so that doesn't really surprise me. Hello there, trainer. Hey, wait up. What's the hurry? You want a rush? 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 Give me a break, man. Come on. And we made it through. Let's talk to these people. Have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move, I hear. Yep, that's true. Cut. Many people, many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. We need a persistent look everywhere to get different kinds. Do you know the evolution cancel technique? When a Pokemon is evolving, you can stop the process. Technique for raising Pokemon the way they are. That is actually true. If you press the B button while it's, while it's in the evolution scene, you can actually stop it from evolving. Now this over here is a great leveling point. This is not a different route, because as you could have seen, this is still Route 2, and I have caught a Pokemon. You can also, uh, down at the bottom right, see which Pokemon that I caught in that route. I don't know, I just felt like that was a little neat thing to add to it. 
However, I am now at the first gym city. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to everyone. It's always a good idea to talk to everyone in uh, in a Pokemon town or city. Because they might give you some uh, good items. Maybe some moves as well. Who knows? Hi, glad to meet you. That's unfriendly of you. How about saying hi back? Come on, tell me about yourself. I'd love to hear your profile. Tell me something good about yourself. What's your profile? Yes. Oh, I am a Pokemon friend. Yes, that, that is what I am. Oh, you've decided not to? You're fickle, aren't you? I, uh, I, t I think I actually chose to do I'm a Pokemon friend. What? Team Rocket is at Mount Boon? Huh? I'm on the phone, scram! Oh. Well, that was a little glimpse of the bad guys. Team Rocket. Oh, when Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. Yeah, that's Jigglypuff. A Pokemon you can catch at Mount Moon. The evolution of Jigglypuff is not that bad, actually. In my opinion. I think most Pokemon aren't that bad if you know how to use them well enough. That's my opinion, anyway. Pokemon learn new techniques as they grow, but most some moves must be taught to them by people. A Pokemon become easier. A Pokemon becomes easier to catch if it has a status problem. Sleep, poison, burn, or paralysis, those are all effective. But catching Pokemon is never a sure thing. Yeah, that's actually true. If you uh, make a Pokemon paralyzed, or sleeping, or poison it, or whatever, burn it, paralyze it, whatever you do, it does make him easier to catch. So that's a good thing to do. Sleep works best. Psst, do you know what I'm doing? Uh, yes. That's right, it's hard work. Really? I'm spraying Repel to keep all Pokemon all right. I like how in the, in the Pokemon games, every little character just gives you little hints on what you can buy and what these items do. There are many serious Pokemon trainers here. They're all like bug catches, you know, just hobbyists. The Pewter City, the Pewter City Gyms Brocks isn't like that, not one bit. No, no, no. Brock is pretty awesome. You might know Brock from the anime. They didn't just make him up. You check out the museum? Weren't those fossils from Mount Moon amazing? Sure. I've not actually checked out the museum, but whatever. See, do you have new items that I can buy? Uh, he has an awakening, burn, and escape room, and repels. Repels are great for if you're not doing a Nuzlocke run. Re what repels do, basically, is they repel all Pokemon away from you, so that you don't have to fight them randomly. It's a great item, but honestly, if you're doing a Nuzlocke, you might not want it. Because, well, you're trying to just beat every Pokemon up and grind as much as you can, so... Personally, I don't really see much use in repels for a Nuzlocke. Nidoran, sit! Bow bow. I did not know Nidoran make bow bow noises. A Pokemon's an outsider, so it's f finicky and hard to handle. An outsider is a Pokemon that you can't that you get in a trade. It grows fast, but it may ignore an unskilled trainer in battle. If only we had some badges. You can get one right now in this city. In the dollar store, no. Um... Right over here, there's a house, but we cannot go inside of it. At least I don't think we can. Nope. Because we don't have cut. And you need cut to go inside that house. Also, I believe there's a secret here, but I'm not too sure anymore. I think this is a different Pokemon game. Yep, this is a different Pokemon game. Let's check out the museum, why don't we? Maybe something cool in here. Like the fact that I have to pay 50. I mean, I guess. It's alright. Maybe I can get an item that's worth way more than 50. Hello there, old man. I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. Never did I think I would see more dragon Pokemon than fucking four. Yeah, Pikachu soon, I promise. Oh, I guess she wants a Pikachu, yep. I want a Pikachu, it's so cute! I asked my daddy to catch me one. Uh, Pikachu is the Pokemon that I also could have caught in the Viridian Forest, but it's a bitch. I think it has like a 5% or with like a 2 percentage chance that you can find it. This month we're running a sp space exhibit. It's alright, I guess. Hello there. Hello there. Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. No, it isn't. July 20th, 1969. Humankind first set foot on the moon that day. I bought a color TV just so I could watch it. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. I, li I like this museum. I like just everything in Pokemon. Just all these little details that make the world that much more believable and all that. It's great. I really like it. Anyways, time for me to grind. Because with this level Pokemon, 
Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Especially not with a level 9 Bulbasaur. I'm not gonna make it. So, grinding time! Let's go! Level 10... There we go! Suvold is evolving again! Okay, so at level 10, your Metapod will evolve into Butterflea. Butterfly. Butterfree. Butterfry. Butterfly. I don't care. Butterfree. So, Butterfree is a bug psychic Pokemon. He will learn psychic movements. Which are alright, but this one doesn't really learn that many. Sure, she learns confusion, which is great, but not awesome or amazing or anything like that. So, yeah. Anyways, I think I'm a, pretty much done with grinding for now. I haven't grinded that much. But I believe that I am uh, up to snuff and ready for Mr. Brock right now. All Pokemon are level 11. Well, except for Butterfree, where it was level 10. I just wanted to get Butterfree before the first gym. And also, my Bulbasaur is level 12, which is a level higher than the rest. So, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and do the gym, which has a couple of new Pokemon. I think only two new Pokemon, but still. And some more explanation about the game as well. So this gym has one trainer battle and one gym leader battle. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock! Sure kid. Sure, whatever. Keep dreaming. Okay, so this one has the Geodude. And I forgot to switch to Bulbasaur. Awesome. Let's go to Bulbasaur. That was not that smart of me. Try it again, shall we? Oh, defense girl. All right, I forgot about that. So, anyways, uh, defense girl, another, just another Harden. Anyways, uh, fine whip is, as you can see, a grass type move, and tackle is a normal type move. Now, the reason that tackle did so well with Pidgey and Rattata was because they are normal type. My Bulbasaur is not normal type. Yes, my Pidgey is normal flying type, if you want to say it in full. But he was part normal, and the thing is about Pokemon, the Pokemon has some certain thing that is called STAB, which stands for Same Type Attack Bonus. Which, well, as the name, as the name says, as the name says, for instance, my Rattata is normal. The move Tackle is normal. That means that he does 1.5 amount of the damage in plus, instead of one time damage. Now, Bulbasaur only does one times the damage, which is why he sucked. Now, with Fine Whip, however, is grass, so he does a shit ton of damage with a move that is already super effective against these Pokemon. Now, I think the whole biggest problem with uh, this Bulbasaur is... Alright, there's also a Shantru. Is that... Um, I think grass Pokemon are also weak against rock. I'm not too sure about that anymore, though. I do know, however, that grass is also super effective against ground, which Shantru is ground. Sentru, also a pretty good Pokemon. Geodude, which I didn't really talk about. But, um, Sentru is a pretty good Pokemon. It falls to Sentru, which is probably the best ground Pokemon that you can get. Except for a little one that I'm hoping to get later on. Okay, my Bulbasaur is level 13 now. It's pretty good for the gym leader now. Light years isn't time, it measures distance. I'm still not light years away from him, you know? I'm only like a fucking centimeter away from him. Alright. Let's see, is my Bulbasaur up to snuff? Yes, full health. Everything is correct, let's go. So you're here, I'm Brock, I'm pure to say this gem leader. My rock hard power with willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. <laughs> you're gonna challenge me knowing that you lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. And then the awesome gym battle theme. There we go. I oh, love this theme. Because he is Geodude. Geodude, also a pretty good Pokemon, evolves into Graveler. And then if you trade him, evolves into Golem. Yes, there are Pokemon that can only evolve if you trade them with other people. Sadly, I'm not able to do that. So if I ever find a Geodude, I will only have a Graveler and not a Golem. Provided that I can actually evolve it before it dies on me. Anyways, fine with this guy. is two levels higher, but it still shouldn't be a problem for my Bulbasaur. Nope. Not a problem at all. One at KO. Now hopefully that'll be the same for his next Pokemon. But I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess no. His next Pokemon is Onix, which uh, I believe does have an evolution in this remake. 
In the original Pokemon Red and Blue, he didn't have an he didn't have an evolution. It was just Onyx. Yet later on, he got an evolution called Steelix, which is just well, just a better one. But you need an item, and I think you also need to trade him to evolve him. If I'm wrong about that, you'll see him in the screen right now. But as you can see, pretty easy as well. And that also caused my Bulbasaur to level up one more time, which means it's level 14. The rest are level 11 and 10. So yeah. I took you for granted, so I lost. Let's prove your victory, I confer on you this. The official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Mux, shoot the Boulder Badge from Brock. Awesome. Well then, what does he have to say anyway, Brock? Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables to use a move Flash outside of battle. Because the Pokemon must know how to move Flash to use it. Mux, 1400 Poke Dollars. It's quite a lot. Wait, take this with you. And I got TM39. I think that's Bind. A TM Tactical Machine contains a technique for Pokemon. Using a TM teaches the move to contains Pokemon. The TM is good for only one use, which can change later on in the games. As now you can use a TM indefinitely. So when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, TM39 contains Rock Tomb. Hills bolts at the phone, lowers the speed. Alright. And that was the first gym. Now, if we go to, well, let's say, Marcus over here, or your name, whatever your name might be, you can see the boulder badge down there. Now, I know the boulder badge that I'm using down there, it has a different graphic, but it's the same badge, so yeah. I've already been playing for 3 hours and 26 minutes, set, yeah. That tells you how long grinding takes. Well, anyways, that was it for this episode. We got the, we got the first gym badge, I'd say we, we did quite a little bit of progress. Next time, we're gonna go to the right here, which we could not have gone to if we did not have the badge. If you did not have the badge and you went here, there would, there would be a guy here that would stop you from, pro from progressing further. So anyways, that was the second episode of this Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, leave a dislike, leave a subscribe, leave an unsubscribe. Do whatever the fuck you want, because you're a human, I'm a human, we're all just human here. Or hey, maybe you're an Onyx. Who knows? So do as you please, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.